I am Stephen Landry, I'm the state traffic engineer here at Maine DOT. I'm originally from Lewiston, Maine, but I live here, right here in Augusta. I live less than a mile from this building, so I walked here today. I spent the first 12 years of my time here in highway design, designing roadways, and the last 22 have been in traffic engineering. I oversee the ITS program, which includes traffic signals. We do a lot with RWIS, we have portable changeable message boards, we deal with real-time travel signs, so it's just a, a wide variety of things, enough to keep things very interesting. My name is Colby Fortier Brown. I am an ITS engineer for Maine DOT. I work in the traffic engineering division, primarily on ITS projects. You know, without communication to those devices, we're depending on the traveling public to tell us there's something wrong. And also, if I depend on the traveling public to tell me there's something wrong, if the traveling public doesn't understand how a traffic signal works, I'm sending people out to go fix something that doesn't need to be fixed. You know, nobody likes to be woken up at two o'clock in the morning to go take care of something and find out there was nothing to take care of. So, yeah. You know, we get a complaint about a signal, we can check. Uh, let's say that signal's been in for three years. You know, maybe the traffic volumes picked up out there. Uh, this new detection that we're putting in can do traffic volume counts. We can use that data to make adjustments to signal timing. It allows us uh, a lot of flexibility to be able to take care of issues out there in the field. One that we just recently finished up was a road weather information system project and that was a really interesting project because we were able to make measurable differences in mobility on the roadways and safety on the roadways during the winter time. The last project prior to this one was about 20 years ago so we got to start from scratch, uh, get all of the equipment that we wanted and really start with how can we use this data more than just having it, but to improve maintenance around the state of Maine, improve the amount of information that we have about what's coming for the storm, and then during storms what's happening, what the roads look like so that we can have a safer and more optimized travel experience for the public. For the build project that we have to redo 104 traffic signals in Daigle Electric, uh, they're out of Massachusetts, they're starting to uh, have a presence in Maine. They were lead contractor to do that. They're working with several vendors, Econolite, Applied Information, GridSmart for detection and also Wavetronics. So those are the, the big companies that are gonna be doing the work and providing materials for those entities. We want to take advantage of the most up-to-date signal detection out there. I'm a firm believer that there is no one entity that makes the total solution start to finish. You know, right now during a snowstorm, a lot of our crews are going out to these traffic signals. And they're having to manually put them on flash. And then they're busy through a snowstorm and they may forget to take them out of flash be able to have the snowplow be able to talk to the traffic signal and say, hey, I'm coming, I've got my plow gear down, I've got my flashing lights on, I'm plowing, you know, please turn the signal green so I don't have to stop. If you stop a snowplow with a full load of snow on its wing and its plow, in order to get that going again, it, it's, it's problematic. And so now if I, that signal knows that snowplow's coming, it can hold the green, allow that plow to get through the intersection and then when they're done plowing they don't have to remember that oh I put that signal on flash and you know the next morning when the rush hour comes through the signal's operating as it should. I think once we started down the ATC platform it just really made sense to go to the connected vehicle piece. I'm hoping that as we do more with the connected vehicle thing I think it's going to start out slow but I think eventually us playing around with what it can do uh, is going to allow us in the future when there are more connected vehicles out there for us to be able to, to do more with it. If we do it right, in 10 years we're going to be in a very good place where it's going to be integrated into a lot of things. I think we need what we're doing now in this next 10 years to prove to people that we can do a connected vehicles. Go for small wins that build off each other rather than taking the big swing and breaking out. Doing it sequentially 
and doing it in small steps and showing people that it works.